At the start of the submissions, the Aitapelumi MP was asked to tell the tribunal what he thought would be his appropriate penalties. However, Purides did not take the opportunity and allowed his lawyer, Greg Shepard, to file submissions on his behalf. Shepard's submissions are that under the organic law, duties and responsibilities of leadership, the charges of late annual returns is not an offence that requires dismissal from office. Thus, a court fine of 500 kina would be the appropriate recommendation, given the current circumstances. Last Friday, the Leadership Tribunal, chaired by Justice Panuel Mogish, found Purites not guilty of the six charges out of the nine charges Purites pleaded not guilty to. These charges include allegations of misconduct in office, allegations of double dipping into vehicle and fuel allowances, and the misappropriation of the 2003 district support grants. For the three charges Purites pleaded guilty to, the allegations are that between 30th June 2003 and 30th September 2005, Purites failed to, without reasonable excuse, to present to the Ombudsman Commission annual statements for three consecutive years. Submissions made by the state on the appropriate penalties include recommendation for dismissal or a maximum court find. However, public prosecutor Pondros Kaluin, after making a 13-page submission, agreed that a court fine of 1,000 kina each would be the appropriate penalties. The sum of the court fine is outlined in the penalties under the charge of misconduct in office under the organic law. The leadership tribunal is expected to hand down a decision on the appropriate penalties for poor rights next Thursday. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.